Hello everyone. Today we are going to solve an open source intelligent room in Dry Hacking. And this room is called Sakura Room. So let's solve the problem one by one. So we have six tasks. So when the time of the recording I didn't solve the last two problem but I will eventually when I published all the six solution so let's go with the introduction so in this introduction we have some background I do not have that much time to read this but I suggest you to read so let's go with the instruction so what, what does the instruction say? It is the saying as to type let's go and careful with the exclamation mark. We do have to put the exclamation mark in our answer box. So we just copied this and paste it in here and click to submit button then it will take our answer so this is uh, a solved problem for me in this account i will try to make a new account and solve it for you guys sorry for the inconvenience let's go with task 2 so in this task 2 we have some background I suggest you to read and in this the last line it is saying we have copied the image left by the attacker you can view it in your browser here so let's click here it it had redirected me to a page where it is in SVG format so let's save this image I'm going to save this in my desktop and now what does it say image can contain a crazy trove of information so uh, by reading this I can guess that we have something hidden in the image itself so we need to extract information from the image to extract information from image we use exif2 so let's open our terminal and let's drive the exif2 so we have uh, to extract information from an image we have to write exif2 space and the file name I have my file in here so let's type and auto complete by pressing tab enter so from this we can see our uh, our little command of exif2 have given us some extracted information from here we can see the file size and the modification date the permissions and the image width and image height but what is the username we need the username if we can see a little bit closely in the export file name we can see this file was stored in something called home sakura snow angel ico desktop and a png so i suggest this is our username so let's copy and put it in the submit button put it in the answer box and click submit and it will have our answer so the next problem we are going to solve it is called reconnaissance so let's see our problem what does it say most web digital platforms have some sort of username field many people become attached to their usernames and may therefore use it across a number of platforms so mainly it is saying if we look at this line a quick search on a reputable search engine can help 
find matching usernames on the platforms and there are also a large number of specialty tools that exist for that very same purpose so uh, the thing is the username we just got in the previous question we need to search it we need to search it and we need to gather two things one is the email address used by the attacker and the second is the attacker's full real name so let's search by the number so this was the username i got on from the previous problem and i can see there are some few things in here we have a github link and we have a twitter link so let's go to both of these links and if we can see there is an twitter instagram account and i don't think there's anything else so i don't need instagram account for now because uh, let's uh, first we are gonna sense the twitter account so if you can see it is named goes named by Ico but uh, what what is her real name we need her real name if we look the post closely here she is saying silly me I forgot to introduce myself and hi there I am Aiko Abe Tree so it's a another Twitter account and I think her real name this because a real name can't have a number so if let's try with this name we need a space between this how do that how did I understand because look at the answer format we have a space in it so let's submit Why suddenly let's remove the page? And submit again. Yep, it's our correct answer. So let's find her email address. So from the Twitter account, I don't think we can get her email address. So uh, we had another link, <laughs> GitHub link. We need to reconnaissance the GitHub link to get her email address. If uh, I look into this repository, or uh, the best way to go to all repository is this. Here we can get her all repositories. So I need to go to the PGP one and think her something hide into this. So in this public key, I think we if we decrypt it, we can get her email address. So let's search for PGP keys to ASCII. Let's see if we can solve in this link. Let's paste the key. Let's determine. Yep, if we can see, it is our email address, the proton mail one. So I've copied this and i'm going to paste it in here and voila we have solved our number top three hello so let's solve the tax four problem so what is it saying on some platforms the edited or removed content may be unrecoverable unless the page was cached or archived on another platform however other platforms 
may possess built-in functionality to view the history of edits, deletions, or insertion. When available, this audit history allows investigators to look at information that was once included. So you will need to perform a deeper dive into the attacker's GitHub account for any additional information that may have been altered or removed. You will then utilize this information to trace some of the attacker's cryptocurrency transactions. So we have four questions in this task. The first question is saying what cryptocurrency does the attacker own a cryptocurrency wallet for? So the main thing in short is we need to go to her GitHub link and we have to analyze this GitHub link to search for any cryptocurrency wallet or cryptocurrency related thing. We can see that we have many things in here about cryptocurrency. We have ETH uh, which is the short form of Ethereum. Then we have Bitcoin. We have it miner. We have CPU miner. We have CPU miner for Litecoin and Bitcoin. But I think we need to reconnaissance this link ETH which is the short form of Ethereum. So that's let's go to this file and we can see we have something like this. We have some kind of link here which is saying it wallet and we have some password mining pool and port number and we do have a hint here when it did say that we need to view the history of edits deletion or insertion as we know we can see those things those history in github so we need to go to click the history link and if we click the create mining script then voila we have got our username port number and address i think this is the answer of our second question let's put it voila and if this is correct then the cryptocurrency wallet will be ethereum voila and as we know uh, in the blockchain technology we can see we can analyze actually we can analyze the address here to find the transaction happening on this account so let's go search for this yes we need to go to the ether scan so we can see the transaction if we can see the last transaction what does it say what mining pool did the attacker receive payments from on january january 23 2021 so let's see this transaction. It's January, July 28. Let's view all the transaction. Second four. I think we have got our, one of the answer the tether if you can look closely what other cryptocurrency did the attacker exchange with using their cryptocurrency wallet I think it would be tether let's see yes it is tether let's see it's january 23 yes january 23 we need to find the transaction happened in january in january yep i think this is the transaction hmm. 
I think it is from Ethermind. Let's copy and paste it. Yes, we have done it. We have done our answer solving the task four. Hello, so now we are going to solve the task five. Taunt. So in here it seems there is some information about the attacker like many users share the username different platforms if it isn't uncommon for users to also have alternative accounts that they keep entirely separate searches for blah 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 and attacker so it seems to show on twitter and attacker's twitter account you need to follow dark web and other platforms so we need to we from here we see that we have three questions first one is what is the attacker's current twitter handle and what is the url for the location where the attacker saved their wi-fi ssids and passwords and the third is what is the bssid for the attacker's home wi-fi what is bssid bssid is the physical mac address of one's computer and ssid is the kind of username so kind of username not actually username but kind of username it is not uh, numerical or could be numerical so let's go to the first question what is the attacker's current twitter handle so we have our twitter account here and the two current twitter handle is this we're going to copy this and paste it in here then what is the url for the location so the thing is if we can go to the first post there is a post that is saying result for this is it's an md5 hash regular wi-fi and password and if we can see her comment not too concerned about someone else finding them on the dark web Anyone who wants them will have to do a real deep search to find where I pasted them. So it is leading us to a dark web page which we which have an onion link. So we need to go to the Tor browser and open up the Tor uh, onion link. But for now, the dark web page is not loading for some reason. I don't know. Maybe the server got down so we are just going to have the hint here in hint we have a link we are going to open this link and sorry we are going to open this link in another tab so go to the hint copy the link Uh, here it is so from this we can see we have a link in here so the link could be uh, like this the link and we can see we need to put the md5 md5 in here so let's go uh, I have already copied the link in here like this so this is the link i'm going to put it in here and we need the md5 so let's go to twitter profile and see this is the md5 but this md5 um, is the old one if we can see her updated post he say she said looks like my last paste got removed when the website changed domains so this is the new hash i have also got this new hash and i am going to copy it and paste it in here and submit yes and what is the bss id for that occurs some wi-fi so if we can see the uh, paste here the home wi-fi is named dk1fg and the password is this 
but for some reason when I go to the Wiggles website and we want to do a basic search about the name DK1FG it is not working somehow it is saying that too many queries today but I have already tried but the link is somehow not working so have, uh, I have collected some of the information from the web and the map when we search in here for DK1FG it will end up with something like this and the PSS ID will be like this so I am just going to take this PSS ID and put it in here yes we have solved this now we are going to solve the tax 6 homebound so our first question is about what airport is closest to the location the attacker shared a photo from prior to getting on the flight if we uh, go to her account we can see that checking out some last minute cherry blossoms before heading home so this cherry blossom is related to in here where she retweeted about the bethesda bethesda and if we go to maps and search for uh, Bethesda cherry blossom we would get something like this and if we search for airport in this area Who get the closest airport to here is this Ronald Reagan Washington National Airport and we need it in three words because in here we need to put the three words so this is it this is the three words of Reagan National Airport we are going to paste it in here and submit what airport did the attacker have their last layover in mm -hmm. so the last layover yes here is a post about it like my final layover time to relax we can see some images in here first class lounge and it is called like the sakura lounge so we are going to search for it jal japanese airlines probably jal uh, jal first class lounge first class lounge and what it says Sakura Lounge. Probably Sakura if I'm not wrong. Mm -hmm. This is in the Tokyo World Galaxies, but I need to know a tree numbers the Tokyo National Airport Haneda this is in Haneda so for Haneda it will be HND yes and for what lack can be seen in the map shared by the attacker as the were on the final flight home so 
was uh, yes this is the image so the lake we need to find this lake and the thing is this image is probably the Japan's so let's go let's search for Japan so this is japan and if we can i think this is the lake yes this is the lake and it is called lake in wa washiro let's copy the name Yes, and what city does the attacker likely consider home? Home. So if we can uh, see the previous link, I think we had something in here. Home. This city. Yes. What is this city? It is called Hirosaki. I think our answer is Hirosaki. Yes, we have completed the room. Thank you for staying with me. I will put the, all the answer in the description box for you guys. Thank you.